Well, hello everybody, and welcome to Simon Says, our small D&D adventure, where we have um, Raz, aka call me Raz, playing as Aina. We have uh, Nick uh, from our Dark Heresy group, playing as Jonathan. Uh, myself, playing as Jacob, and our notorious uh, fan fiction writer, Simon the Nasty, as our DM. So, Simon, I take us away. I do not approve of that title, by the way. <laughs> Can you call me Simon the Fabulous or Simon the Great? Merciful. Nasty sounds nasty. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. So, this will be my very first uh, DMing session, but I think it will be. I hope it will be fun. So, basically, this is like. A, like, like, like the title says, uh, a small adventure where we will have uh, uh, our three players uh, campaign in, uh, yeah, you know, l like a one time adventure thing. And uh, I will get them brutally murdered at the end, hopefully. So, I think that. Uh, the players should actually tell them a little more, little more about uh, their characters first. Chucky, tell me a little about uh, Jacob. Okay, so from what you sent me, I think Jacob is more of the strong siren type. He's not really that smart, he doesn't know much. Uh, but he has his um, brothers, not blood brothers, but uh, people he cares so much that he counts as family. Uh, mm -hmm. Aina and Jonathan. And he will do anything and everything for them. Um, he lives a like he tries to live a simple life. He was a, a smith before he was drafted into the army. Uh, he was actually sold to a smith to pay off his debt. Um, he never did mind that much. Like his parents were not an issue for him. He never went looking or was that curious about his heritage. Uh, all he cared about was just living a peaceful and um, normal life with his uh, brothers. Yeah, well, brothers. Which one is like, one is a girl, but yeah, well, it's uh, figuratively speaking, uh, yeah. people that he really cares he he really cares a lot about, but they are not uh, brother relatives. Sweet. Okay, Raz, tell us about Aina. Aina is a twenty-five-year-old fighter. She's uh, got blonde hair. Um, she's she's been childhood friends with Jake and Jonathan. And uh, she's been a tactician most of her life. She's been trained uh, more in, in strategy than in actual uh, battle, from what I see here. And she's got she's got scouted at the age of uh, 17 by a tactician who just uh, released her full potential. And now, six years later, she travels with her two friends on a quest to see the world. Right. Absolutely. Jonathan. Oh, Nick. Tell me about Jonathan. From what you sent me here, <clears throat> Jonathan, friend of Jake and Dinah, was the youngest of the trio, and he was uh, what looks like an ex-noble. He started being a cleric, being the most kind of the three boys, and he also shared the common daydreaming of seeing the world and such as adventurers. Then he stopped working as a cleric because he was drafted in the army. At a young age, from what I see here, he also has received a blow to the leg, which has left him permanent damage. But otherwise, he has a good sense of humor, and he seems to be the kindest one, and the logical one at least. Fair enough. Fair enough. Okay. So I think uh, if you just we have uh, a slight Nick? echo coming from yeah. I think Nick. It's when I open the microphone. I just okay. close it when I stop. Yeah, okay. just close it for a bit so I can... I, I will... So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a small narrative for you guys. And... Uh, but it's not gonna be, like, too long. Uh, and then I will give it with the ball to you. Okay. So... You three... are currently riding side by side in the evening uh, you're riding along a dirt, dirt path uh, along a grassy area 
illuminated only slightly by the weary sun, setting slowly behind a high mountain peak. Uh, yourself are quite exhausted from this tra from uh, all the traveling you have done so far, uh, but you see in the in the distance your destination is in, is in sight. Ahead of you is a large walled town, stretching across the landscape, like. This uh, really like stone wallish uh, uh, town that stretches almost across. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's, it's it's quite it's quite a big town with uh, with a port. It uh, almost like several ki uh, kilometers. I don't know, like several kilometers long. Uh, you approach the gate of the town. Where you ask the guards for the name, and which, uh, in response, they say it's the town of Rose Roself. And uh, you have heard stories about this place before. Uh, it's here where it's said that a famous crusader that fought in a holy war in the name of uh, the goddess Valora is, bur is uh, buried here. And it was like, this is this is hundreds of years ago but it's still pretty famous and uh, it, it, it keeps the, the name actually was renamed after this man uh, since the cleric uh, uh, also worships Valora it is uh, Nick you please uh, it's, it's echoing Nick can you please shut it off I have it off why yeah, it's echoing for some reason I hear it too. Chucky, do you have your volume Chucky. really loud? E no, I have uh, headset muted. Like, you shouldn't be able okay. and, uh, yeah. 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 Let's go. Let's continue on. Okay. So, uh, you the reason why you are traveling to this uh, town is mostly because, you know, adventurous, you're looking to do good things, but also because Jonathan wanted to uh, Pay his respect to the temple of Alora, and uh, you no, know, you know, visit, visiting the, the 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 grave of the hero would be a pretty cool thing to do. In any way, you ask for directions to a decent inn because it's you know it's evening, shops are closing, there's not really much to do. You are pointed towards uh, an inn called the Golden Pheasant. Around you, when you are when you are riding into town, there are some stray children playing in the streets only to be reprimanded moments later by the worrying mothers it's not much going on you can hear some clinking from the blacksmith but you know it's basically uh, everything is shutting, shutting down for the night so after a little walk or ride should you say you, you are near the entrance of the inn you have traveled not so far it's not too long from the gates actually you you go to the stable that's behind the inn across the street. You hand over some coin to the stable hand and you hand over your horses. This is this stable is uh, pretty decent, you know, has room for ten horses, five each on each side, nothing really much. A boy in curly red hair takes your horses and you, you know, give over some coin. Anyway, when you go inside this tavern or inn, you are overwhelmed by an aroma most delectable you know you you're not you're you're kind of hungry you've been on rations mostly uh, for days so you, you know you you're pretty hungry and you're you can feel the saliva coalesce in your mouth uh, the innkeeper uh, a big burly man with a big beard welcomes you uh, you each rent a room and food for a couple of silvers and you go sit down at the table. A server boy will be by shortly with the house specialty. Uh, the bar is quite bustling at this hour. People are having a merry time, you know, they're off work, they're having just having a good time. So, but you know, you manage to get a place pretty far in by the by the wall. Okay, party. You're at your table. Food will arrive soon. What would you like to do? The ball is yours. 
Well, you may go ahead and speak. Have you visited the um, um, the temple yet? No. This will be done. This uh, is something uh, that you decided to be done in the morning. It is, uh, you know, it's really late, and it's you know, the, the last sermon was probably some ways ago. You know, the, old, the older men of the church are probably asleep, asleep by now. Okay. Well, I look at um, each of them. I especially at Jonathan, and I say, "Well." How do you like the city then? Uh, as you expected? I'll say... I'll decide when they bring us the food. <laughs> then I... Um, casual conversation, like... I... Pretty much being myself, just uh, chatting about... This thing and that thing, and have you seen that? Like... Nothing much, nothing important. Yeah, I mean, this is a, like, this town is, you know, it has its, its regular things, it, you know, the regular buildings. It's not much, just it, it's a, it's no, it's kind of a big town, but nothing really stands out. You have your blacksmith, you have your market, mm, but nothing really like catch your interest at first sight. Okay. Still okay. waiting for the food. Yeah. I mean, you, you can talk while while you're waiting. You're I do so. like um, elbow Aina a bit, like friendly, and I say like, uh, Nick, can you please? It, it's very loud. Just turn it the turn the gain off. Like go on Skype and turn the gain off. You have something to turn it down. So I I'll see. I elbow Aina friendly, and I say, so how how are you enjoying it? Making this all right. It's alright. Nothing I haven't seen before, really, but... We can, uh... Maybe we can find something to do here that's actually interesting, you know? Yeah. Get some, get some fun entertainment and all of that. Yeah, there's something unique about every part of the world. I'm sure we'll find something here as well. <laughs> I kind of nod with a questioning look, but... <laughs> um, then I, I, I... Give a... I glance at both of you. So. Any, have, have anything that you've uh, set yourself to do? Any plans? Anything? Later I on? want to pay my respect to the temple when it's open, but I will have to wait for the morning. Do that, friend. I'll join you whenever that happens. Just let me know. All right. Is there something else you would like to converse about? Not really. Uh, do we have? A specific amount of gold, or is it just? Oh yes, you have. Uh, I, I did not actually add anything to the gold size, but you have uh, like enough for s for room and for. You don't have to worry about it. You you cannot you you may not have to buy you cannot buy anything too fancy, but you have enough for uh, food and border, you know. So it, you don't have to worry about starving or anything like that. Right. Very good. Oh yeah, after we drink a bit, I... I... I mean... Hmm. Okay, you order some... You have, yeah, you have ordered some beer or something? What are you drinking? Um, I'm not drinking, I'm just drinking an ale. Like, I enjoy my occasion ale. Um, just more because of um, me being used to it than anything else. Yeah. So I, want, I, okay. I want me some hard liquor. Okay. Oh, you want yeah. some hard liquor? Yeah. Well... As you say that, the food arrives, and uh, it's actually you, you can you can feel the smell. Uh, it's uh, you know it's uh, actually a, uh, a pheasant getting bird. It actually smells very delightful. And with this uh, meal, you are let's see here. <laughs> yes, because it's the in specialty. You are also served a strong drink on the side called Rose Fire. And you can also actually see on the glasses are like this small, it's like a shot glass, but with small carvings of uh, roses on it. And, uh, yeah, that's have, what happens. Have we never heard of this drink before? Have you heard of what? 
have we, have we ever heard of this drink before, or is it just the first time we stumble upon it? You can ask. I want to smell it. I I, I taste it. Okay, so I ask. The... Okay, we'll we'll go with Dick first. With John, you you smell it, uh, and you sense like it's uh, quite strong. Like your nose kind of go like you go to sniff it. You got you kind of recall a little bit, but it's like you have the and you have this distinct. Almost, you don't uh, you you like you smell roses for some. I mean, it's, it's like it burns and you have like the faint after smell of roses. It, it's just so weird, but. Um, all right. But Aina said she would drink it. So Aina, what are, are you sipping it or are you are you downing it? Uh, I'm sipping it to see how strong You're it sipping is. Sipping it. Yeah. Okay. So you also get this like really strong taste of uh, flower rose, but like it's you know in like like it, it burns in your throat, but it's not it's not. Uh, it's not uh, too bad. I mean, you can you can probably handle it. Uh, you feel a little bit. How? What? Do you know what? Maybe you should roll me a fortitude check. Yes. <laughs> Fair enough. Because you don't you don't have that much con. Yeah, I'm not that resistant to. Um... So let's so roll me a fortitude check, please, and see what happens. Well, eleven. Okay. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's not too bad. You can. It it burns in your throat, basically. It's uh, but you and you can you can feel like it goes a little bit to your head. But since you sipped it, you're fine. Uh, yeah. and uh, Jacob wanted to ask about it. My so man, I guess... my new man. What is this drink? Oh, and the. Uh, uh, the innkeeper, uh, you know, if you if, if you ask the innkeeper, of course, because it was yeah, a yeah. servant boy who brought you the food. No, no I asked the I asked the innkeeper. You ask the innkeeper? Yeah, I asked okay. the innkeeper. Yeah. Oh well, he comes. Uh, he just uh, scurries over to you uh, at table. Oh yes, that's uh, our very famous drink. Uh, it's called uh, Rose Fire. It burns like hell, doesn't it? <laughs> Rose Fire? Huh? That sounds interesting. Yeah, it, yeah it's actually. A very famous uh, drink around here. Uh, uh, it's actually the it's uh, it's a recipe that's been going down for generations. Not 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 my family, because we everyone in the in the in in just uh, in ta different taverns uh, brew this. But uh, but uh, it's actually in the memory of the hero, our our hero that's buried here. It's Lord Marcus Roseld. His father uh, was a brewer, if you can believe it. <laughs> oh, that is that is interesting, of course. Um, indeed, so. Yeah, I know. I mean, uh, like you would never know that a man of such high stature would come from common folk, but that's what they say. So I guess. It's and it's been like it's been so ever since, ever since uh, Marcus, uh, a uh, Lord Marcus, Lord Rosel, came back. It's been our national, our town drink. Don't worry, friend. We've witnessed people uh, go to high to high places from the lowest of of uh, lows. I pat Aina on the back and I say, "That we have, that we have." And in honor of uh, Lord Roswell, I. Uh, um, I what do you call? I um, dedicated this drink to him, and I just I uh, it chug it. Yeah, a toast. I chug it oh, because oh, I have you toast. 15 uh, do you toast with constitution. Do you, do, you, do you toast with everyone? Is well, I I, I want to toast with everybody, but I am gonna toast on myself if nobody joins me. Okay, what do party do? Do you toast with Jacob or do you not drink it, the rest of it? Knowing the strength of the drink, I will hesitate, but, and I will I won't do it. I will just kind of. Knowing the strength of the drink, I want to do the great water thing to lighten it a bit. Ah, uh, you just ruined the drink. 
Are you oh, going the to... clay can handle it. He's do you, do you want do you want to dilute your drink? Yes. <laughs> okay. Do you do you ask for water? He has green no, water. No, I ice. I use my spell to create pure water. Oh, okay. You you create water. Hmm. Is that? Do you have to? Can you control how much water? Two gallons. Ooh. I think it's up to two gallons. Up to two gallons. It's, it says yeah. here, up to two gallons of water. Yes, you can create water to dilate your drink. All but right. it, will, it, it will, you know, you're casting a spell. It's obvious. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's pretty obvious you're casting a spell. So... I you wanna mean, do it? You can always... Would they know that uh, it's uh, bad or something to see being cast, to be seen while casting? Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, it's a, it. Uh, you probably could get, even get away with it because everyone's pretty drunk at the moment. But you might attract some attention. Is it we'll bad to cast spells in public? No. Uh, <sighs> yeah, I mean, if you just cast, if you're just casting a spell and you're not telling anyone, and you, someone sees you. They're gonna react. Yes, they're going well, to react that, because they—they're not seasoned spellcasters. They—they don't know what you're doing. So yes, casting a spell in a public place will—you have to—you have to answer for it. Yeah, you, it doesn't have to be bad, but you know, we'll see what happens. But it could. I'll just um try to do this while the bartender is speaking with a uh, Czechish character. Like uh, if I see him, again. if I see him do this, I say, "Look, Jonathan is already praying. He is. Uh, <laughs> this is this is a very good sign. His uh, God approves of this." Uh, okay. I mean, I guess we roll charisma for you then. Should we roll like some call of charisma? Me. No, oh, for if uh, I'm not, I'm not lying or such. I am literally. This is what I think. Like I know she's a cleric. I'm not like 100% sure of what she does with her powers. Okay. Uh, so I'm just like, what? How I see a cleric prayer, uh, casting a spell, as I've seen her like praying every day for the past however yeah. many years we've been spent together. For me, it's like after I down a whole drink of this rose uh, water. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get to that. By the way, we're gonna get to your fortitude check. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, so, I think it's like I really think he's like he's like just praying because of some weird reason. Okay, because if you're do, are you downing this before? Are you downing the yes. drink? You say this? Yes, yes, I'm downing the drink. We're gonna before. roll your fortitude check first. Okay, so my check. fortitude is plus seven. Go for it, man. Let's have fun with this. Come on, do not disappoint me, guys. The dice have disappointed, disappointed. me. Disappointed. disappointed. A, a ten. It's still is average. It's still still average. partial. Yeah, it's still uh, it, it's still okay. You you get the same effect as Ina, basically a little, a little worse. It it kind of goes to your head, and then you say, "Oh look, Jacob is praying. Oh yeah, Jonathan is praying for." Ah, I'm I'm a lot more merrier. I'm like, yeah, look, Jonathan you're... is praying. I put the hand on the barkeep. I mean, and it's I like this. Uh, Get, it rushes to your head and you're like oh look Jonathan is pr praying already <laughs> yeah I put a hand on the barkeep and I'm like barkeep let us drink this this drink is amazing I love it okay he, the bartender you know assuming that Jonathan cast, cast the spell uh, you're like yeah Oh, like oh, you're uh yes, it comes uh, towards you. Uh, you're a holy man. He sees you because yes. it comes. It comes by and he sees you like casting. Um, uh, like, not meta gaming this, but if he doesn't know, clerics in 3.5 have a holy symbol on their necks. That's basically how they I cast their so. spells. Right. Yeah. So it, yeah, it just... I mean, are you are you showing your holy symbol? I'm Is not hiding it. You're not hiding it. Okay. Then he would okay. Oh, our dear cleric, are you? What are you? Are you praying for us? This is very delightful. 
for uh, me and your festivities, sir. Oh, thank you, good sir. It's very kind of you. Uh, Valora bless you too. And you cast your spell and you fill your yes. glass with some... What do yes. you, you You fill your rose fire? Okay. I'm just Let's say on a 3 to 2 ratio. So I don't get near drunk or anything. Just to okay. for the kindness of uh, drinking. The bartender kind of sees the glass filling a little bit. <laughs> and he just looks at you a bit and then just shrugs and turn around. You can see that his steps are a little, you know, he, if you would, if you could see his face, he might actually be a little bit insulted. I do not react to that. But he doesn't do anything special. So what do you do? Do you drink the diluted drink? Yes. Cool. Okay, you still have to roll some 42 though, I think. With, uh, do I get a bonus modifier for being you, sh you know what? You uh, just roll, just roll the roll, and you don't have to hit that much high of a number. You you, you may you 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 can hit five, and it'll be okay. So just roll, d you just roll d twenty because I think you're you don't have any spe specific. You rolled. You rolled. Okay. You. It's a plus five actually, my bad. Okay. So. Ooh, nice forty two. Okay. So you actually don't feel much because you obviously diluted this drink so that it actually became piss <laughs> you're, you're drinking uh, you, you, you smell you, you get a, a breath of roses you know. that's it you don't feel anything specific All right. okay so the food is actually the food is before you and it smells delicious do you eat it? yes okay. I, I, I eat as well yeah I want to motion the bartender to drink with me and uh, at our table. Okay. Do you want? Do you ask for a refill of the of the drink, or do you just want? I to I want him. To, I I motion him to get one for himself on my money and one for myself and come drink with us. And like, if he does, I'm just like questioning him about uh, like. How's the city going? How is everything going? Like, things okay here? Stuff, uh, stuff like that. Since he is on duty, and serving, he's not going to drink with you, even though he he would gladly say that he will gladly drink with you on other occasions. But since he's working, he will not drink with you right now. But he he would love to talk with you. All right, and I have a love with if he, like if he doesn't like having a chat at our table. I'm gonna just like um, look at Aina and Jonathan and say. You can go. Bro, you can go up to the innkeeper if you want and talk to him. Yeah, I mean that's why I just look at them yeah. and like explain, like give them a look. And I'm going for a bit, and then I go at the bar and I start. I'm not actively like pursuing. You any... should actually say how you're walking right now. Okay, like. Uh I'm I'm like when I raise myself from the table I'm like oh fuck okay I'm, I raise myself too fast and I it take two seconds to to recover and then I walk I walk I don't walk necessarily careful but I stay clear of any other tables that have people in it because I don't want to fall in anybody else or such like I, I know okay. that I'm not that drunk but like I don't want to just like my okay I'm you, not you that can make it you can you can safely make it to okay. And I, I have a talk with him. Uh, as I said, no specific, um, no specific uh, question line. Just how are things going? Just fishing for information. Mm, no, no. You, you're talking a little uh, bit. You say, right. you, you know, you're talking to each other. You know, it's talking about business. Uh, you know, it's, you know, how things have been. It's been a good year. You know, people are happy. You no, know, doesn't doesn't get much trouble around here, people not much fevery. People are keeping themselves in check, basically. It's the town is five hundred inhabitants maybe. Five hundred population. Like Ah so it's a small town. Eh, it's a small but walled town. 
hmm. basically. It, ha it, ha it has some... Yeah. It um, doesn't have too many small... Uh, uh, they have lots of buildings though. It's not like... It is like over 100 buildings, at least. Okay. So anything else you want to talk about, the innkeeper? Like, uh, when he gets up, I want to talk to Aina and just tell her, uh, all right, I'm going to be eating now. Tell me if anything important happens, like jokingly. I'll let you know. Don't worry. Okay, so Jonathan eats his peasant. And uh, would you like, uh, I guess we can do some kind of some? No, let's yeah, let's just say it tastes delicious because I, I I was thinking about doing a grab check, but uh, let's just say it, it's it's a very delicious uh, cooked bird. You, it's probably one of the best you ever had. Nice. Yeah, I'm oh. like if everyone has left any part of having it in their whole show, I'm like, uh, will you finish it? Can I get that too? And so on. I give him half my plate. I don't need that much. <laughs> <laughs> I think nice. I think I would take my plate with me because I am okay. kind of hungry. So. I eat it. Uh, let's see. One sec. By the innkeeper? You I mean, the, I'm at the bar. Yep. I put my drink down. I put my. I sit down. As... I put my pheasant and start eating and talking with him and chatting and such. As tens of as tens of minutes go by, I kind of uh, elbow Nick a, a little bit and go, look at his. <laughs> he's been trying to get with that bartender for the past I don't know hour. Should we help him out? He said, uh, I'm like, um, hmm, why should we? Well, see, the guy's exploring his options, you never know. I'll just say, mm, if you find anything important, tell me. I like returning back to the food. Fair enough. Uh, I kind of walk over there and, and listen in the conversation without actually, you know. I'm like, wait, oh, man, wait, oh, man. No. Okay, so well, what do you think? You know, how's business? Well, good you? Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, it doesn't eat. Just say, yeah, it's good. Good. Yeah, absolutely. And then Aina comes in. She, the bartender doesn't seem, he's super casual, right? He doesn't seem... Yeah, I mean, just, right. just talking casually, and just, just serving beers and stuff like that in the, you know, but you're still talking to, uh, to Jacob. I give Aina a... Uh, uh, a woman smile. Yeah, I, 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 I continue yeah, eating. And I just go. Um, so, how, how are you two doing? How's it going? Oh, it's an interesting town. It's you know, well, give him my information. I found like I tell him like about the stuff I like he told me, and I say, well, after I finish eating, I'm, I'm a bit tired myself. I'll be heading up to, uh, catch a nap. See you in the morning. Uh, actually, I would need to ask. What's the time? Like, is oh, it? Oh, it's been uh, probably an hour or so, maybe, since you came. Yeah, so I it's, mean, it's you, still you like walk... it's like kind of night. Like it is. Uh, like... Yeah, you said everything what, was shutting out. What time out. would? Yeah, what? The, because the shops were just closing down. What time would the shop? Uh, let's say it's eight p.m. Eight yeah. p.m. Yeah. I was thinking eight p.m. The elders are also believing in rule. Everything opens and closes at eight. <laughs> uh, well, then it would be nine. If that's the case. Nine. It's nine p.m. in the evening. Okay. Good. Uh, yeah. yeah. 9 PM. I eat uh, after a long journey and such. I am tired. I just drank. I'm going to go to sleep. And before that, okay. I'm going to ask for a mug of water to drink, because you always drink water with hard alcohol. <laughs> Good man. Absolutely. He he tells a a servant boy to escort you to your room. And this is, uh, we're going to go because basically uh, the rooms that you got are the, because the inn has two stories. You actually, you, you got a room at the second story. You see, if you get what I'm meaning. So you have to, you're going to go uh, around the tavern, up a bunch of, a bunch, a bunch of stairs, and then you have, uh, then it's like there are two. Uh, doors, the two doors. Uh, like uh, if you if you see if you, if you come up the stairs, there's uh, one. How do you call it? The upper level. Upper level. The, uh, the, the upper level. 
the upper story, there are two doors, and then you have, like, you, you can go to the side and there are two more doors. And uh, you get uh, the one uh, that's uh, not the first door, but the second door. You get it. So there are four doors in total at the upper story. You get me? Yeah, yeah, I get you. You, you get the second. You, you get the second. Yeah, uh, I don't you... mind. I'm okay. I open, I drink my water, and I sleep. Yeah, no you way. get a key. You, you, this, this is a lockable. Door. Well, so you, you uh, it's is inside. it there any? Are there any? Like, it's only my room. Is it? It isn't our room. It is, it is only your room. Okay, I lock the door. Uh, then. Room you want to reach? Yeah, yes. I lock the door and I go to sleep. Okay, so Jacob is asleep. What did the other two do? Well, after I finish every inch of food that there is around, I would also go for my room. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> so you were eating, so maybe you took, so maybe like 15 minutes later, 20 minutes later? Yeah. After after Jacob left, you also leave. Alright. You, you get escorted and, and you get the, the second, you get the third door. The upper story and the third. Right. Yeah. Uh, as, as he gets up and whatever, I, I tip the bartender and... Uh, Go in my own, uh, to my own room. I, I'm not gonna. You yeah, say, I, I, I tip like, him a little bit. No, I tip like a, I tip money. You know, I, I, I get him an extra tip. Yeah, I mean, he thanks Coin. you. Say, oh, yeah. oh, thank you kindly, my lady. I smile and I walk up to up upstairs. Okay, so you are so at 9 p.m. you went to sleep. Wait a minute. Uh, I if I am alone in my room. I want to first lock the door. Yeah. And there's a precaution, like uh, in front of the door, around the bed, and uh, in front of the window. I want to create water to make it slippery. Okay, it's wooden floor. Yeah, but still. And it will probably soak in. I don't know how slippery it would be, actually, well, if it soaks into the wood. It probably yeah. get. You probably you know swell and you'll have a very well you know very pissed I mean, by you, can, you can do whatever you want. Yes, I'll do you it even do if that. it's a superstitious precaution because clerics are superstitious and stupid. Abs that makes perfect sense. Absolutely. Create your water. How much? Do. Do you, how much water do you create? Enough to probably soak. Uh, Every inch of the area specified. Yeah, why not soak the entire room before I go to bed? <laughs> why not? That's why not. <laughs> yeah, you can with two gallons of water totally. I hope you have enough money. <laughs> okay, so I guess you're all asleep. Yeah. Yes. By this point, you all go to sleep. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Nice. The time for the DM to fuck with us. Yeah, the fuck with the fuck time with the DM to fuck with you has come. Let's see here. <laughs> no, mommy always told me there was monsters underneath my bed. I didn't think it was uh, Simon. Okay, okay. This is That's interesting. That's why you have to wet them. Okay, <laughs> wet them. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Jacob. In the middle of the night, might have been a couple of hours, probably you no, know, probably midnight, one o'clock. You don't know. It's been just a couple of hours since you went to bed. You hear a banging on wood, and a couple of seconds later, you you know you shoot up from bed because you hear this blood curdling scream. Uh, yes, armor exactly. on, armor on, long sword out. Open the door, run towards the screen. No questions, no thought before that. Sweet. Once, one thing though, you, you, you don't, you, you sleep, you take, you all taking off your armor, right? Well, it's your decision. I was a bit tipsy. Like it's your decision if I slept in armor or not. Your call. You were not that tipsy. Don't worry. Okay. You Good. I take my armor. armor. I put my armor on, and then I run 
Uh, what what oh, armor okay. do I have? Okay, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's been a couple of hours. You probably slept it off. It's okay. Your fortitude is quite quite okay. Oh, or maybe okay. you should roll, actually roll for that. Roll another fortitude check for me. Uh, fortitude check coming up. And that's a one! Wow, you're still... You have not... You are actually... Yeah. You yeah. took off... Yeah, you took off your armor before, and you're actually... The, you, you have not alleviated yourself of the drunkenness. You're still as drunk as you were uh, before. You're still as tipsy as you were. Okay. I'm so, just I don't know, Maybe you could put some armor on, but you're like, ah, fuck it, and like, uh, long sword, rush out. Okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay with that. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. But I want to take my sh my shield. Yeah, you can. Yeah, sword and shield, perfectly fine. You, you know, you you're a warrior. You 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 keeping good sh track of this shit, right? Yeah. You're a. Nice. Been in the army. <laughs> Been in the army, yeah. Absolutely. So, you rush out. You. You, yeah, you rush out. Right? Like if I know the if I know the rooms of like where they stay, I basically just bang as I walk through. Like I bang very loudly with the sword and the door. You have to go like uh, because you have the the second room, and you 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 have to kind of go like uh, behind you know a side. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean if, if, if I do it real fast. Like I try, I, I, I I like bang very loudly. I'm like. I'm I'm not even considering. I'm, I'm running. I'm basically almost just thrashing at the door just to make as much sound as I can. And okay, would you? You you're actually you're banging on what you believe is your because you don't actually know what your friends are staying. Oh, if I don't know where the friends, as I said, if I knew, I would do this. If I don't, I, uh. You went out first. Yeah, you, I went out were, first. Yeah, you're true. You're, you that's right. You don't actually know where they are staying because you were tipsy. Um, okay, yeah, then I just run. I just run to the... I mean, that's what Jacob would do. Just runs towards the screen. You run out, first of all. And uh, give me a... You run, you, you run out. You should actually roll me a listen check, I think. Let's do it. Um, let's see, that's mm, wisdom, which I have a minus two. Not nice. Uh, let's see, do you have a specific... No, I do not have. As a fighter, I don't get listen. If I, yes, okay. I don't get listen. It's a I one. Have, I have alertness, but wow. So wow. one, okay. two ones. You don't, you don't hear anything oh. special. Nothing. I I just go to the last location of the screen. You run down the stairs. Uh. You don't actually really. You can't actually locate because you roll so poorly. You can't actually locate. So if you just you you you, you just run to where you presume the scream is. Yeah, maybe. and I search. I search frantic. I, I Where Who's are you there? searching? Tell, tell me. Where are you searching? Well, well, what was the proximity of where I, the surroundings of where I heard I mean, the scream? It was not. You, you didn't hear it. I mean, it sounded kind of muffled. So, I mean, the scream, you, you, the banging was kind of muffled, but the scream couldn't have been. That far off because you wouldn't have heard anything. If that's okay. The case. I go into the like in the bar basically in the main room. Okay, so you go down the stairs first of all. Yeah. And uh, you're gonna have to roll me uh, actually a perception. I don't have perception 3.5. Oh, it's uh, a spot check. A spot check, which is another wisdom, which I don't have. Oh god, Yay. why does I steal? Ah, yes! Ah. Yes! Ah. The dice have... Yeah. Yes! Okay, <laughs> we totally see that under... Because under the stairs is actually another door that you didn't see before because you were when you went out, you were tipsy as fuck. Mm -hmm. So basically, when you go down the stairs and turn to go to... you Because you said you were going to the bar, but when you go to the bar, you... You see that uh, at the door, there is this hunched over man, like over another man, like the, uh, the, it's, uh, they're at the door, and it's like this. Uh, uh, the one man is, is laying on the ground. The woman He's, is laying on the ground. Uh, it's a man laying on the ground. Uh, wait, you, you know you don't actually know. Uh, 
Yeah, you could know. <laughs> I kill it before it. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, no. so is it is it a woman be beneath no. her, beneath him? No, no, no it's here. It, here. It's, it's, this is uh, what you what you see, kinda. You see a figure hunching, like no kneeling over this other man. Like, it's a kind of stocky, burly man. No, you don't actually see in a specific but The other one is, you know, high, it's it's concealing the, the the face of the other. I go to and this you, hunched you back. Can, you can see this, you can see this, this figure because you roll so well. You can see this figure, you know, in the, because this is your peripheral vision, basically. You you see this in your in the corner of your eye, and you can see here you can see the figure reaching down uh, towards this other. Okay, man, like, I uh, uh, try it, it, and walk it, it, behind okay. him. Uh, as uh, sneakily as I can, and I okay. put my sword to his neck and I say, Stop whatever you're doing. If you want me to go, uh, I need kind of like to see if he spots me or not. I can do it. It's a, you, go, you, you can totally, you know, you just walk. I'm, I mean, yeah, I should actually roll the perception. I mean, I, sh I should it's roll actually like, 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 like. How this works, it's I roll a dexterity. The, the, actually, it's, it's plus my dexterity on a walk yeah. silent tree. And uh, basically, what I roll is the DC that the spot either listen, whichever you think more necessary, more appropriate, he needs to roll. Like, for example, so I roll 1d20 plus yeah. 1. Okay, he it's needs to pass an 8. To yeah, see me basically. Him. Yeah, absolutely. That that was my my thoughts as well. You have to if you're gonna sneak upon him, because I I, I was gonna ask you are you, gonna, are you sneaking or are you walking up to him? No, I'm sneaking. You know? I'm trying to like sneaking. Trying to sneak. I don't have my armor on, but okay. my thinking. I'm thinking like uh, immobilization is the best way. Okay, you can sneak up to him. No okay. problem. I sneak up to him and I put my sword to his neck. And I stay stop whatever you're doing. When you, when you go further, you see that this is a very this man is in rags. Go further, you, you as you close in, you can see him actually. You see blood. Where? You see lots of blood. Beneath you, the man, yeah. or from coming from the man. Uh, it's very messy. I mean, it's uh, obviously he's kneeling down. It, it is a lot of blood. Yes, you. you you can't actually see the wound itself, but it's, there's like. Is blood. it coming from this man, or is is there like? Oh, then, my then, question then is: Is he he's he's above another man, and the other man is on the ground? Yeah. Isn't he? Okay, good. It's, it's so like, it's blood. It's like blood because there's blood. There's some blood on the on the on the door, like kind of like, uh, uh, not like on the, like the lower side of the door. You get me? Like there's yeah, blood, yeah, blood I get there. it. You can see you can see blood when you approach. I scream like after I say that like, I scream, Ada, Jonathan, get down here in the hopes that they hear me. I scream it like your deep, loud voice, uh, and then I continue on my inquiry with this man. Well, so when you okay, let's let's say you you approach first, yes. then you scream. No, no, I approach. I put my hand, my put my sword to his neck, and I say, stop whatever you're doing. Then I scream and then I continue on like trying to figure out what's happening. Okay, okay, let's see here. So walk you walk in, you put your hand, you scream, okay. Sorry, should sorry. They roll, then, then, they should, then they should roll a Should they roll a listen check then? I mean I have it, listen. Me too. Like so, it's it's your decision, like and some cases it's just like obvious that they they're gonna hear it. Uh, yeah. but in here, some but cases this, not. But this guy, this figure, rolled really poorly on his, uh, no, he rolled like three. Good. So what we're gonna do, yes, you can do this, you go you go forward, you scream for your companions. You, no, 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 you know, I put my sword to his neck and then I scream for my okay. companions. Okay, okay. So sword on his neck, scream for Ina Jonathan, and then stop whatever you're doing, scum. Yeah, like and I continue on to like figure out what's happening right now. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna get uh, Ina and Jonathan to roll. Listen, I think first of all. Fair enough. Seventeen, nice. Yes. Nice. Both. And 17. So. Yes, you would, you you would hear this, but. 
before you can make any actions. Jacob. Yes. You ask you when you now you disclose you because you you basically you do this you're very close swords at neck you can see him you see a lot of blood still and you my question is um, because this would be obvious as I'm like he's leaning down I'm above him do I see a pool of blood on the ground coming uh, like, do I see a pool of blood, of, of blood on the you ground see coming from a man at which face is torn off his torn off you see a man with his face torn off. Okay, I immediately and the and the figure wait and the, because gone gone yeah and the figure that is uh, he has blood in his hands and is uh, eating from the face of this man. And when oh. you do when when you shout and when you do this, he turns. Well, uh, just as an FYI, like okay. if he made any move, I would slit his throat. Like that's why I put the sword. Is I would suit his throat, no question asked. Like if he does any really? move, like that's that's basically what I'm thinking because my I'm like my fighter um, discipline okay. tells me that like if I have armor and I can battle monsters, I can battle foes, but I don't have armor on. So my best way of doing wow. of doing this is immobilization. And in my mind, as I I'm not that smart, I'm like. Uh, this, this or whatever, like human uh, killed somebody. Yeah, but you're, you're also, you know, you stand for the good, and you also, you know, you know that maybe slitting someone's throat and yeah, well, but okay. after I see a beaten face. Fair enough. You know what? But 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 you do here though, you because he does th this happens anyway. Hey, go on. He, 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 you hear a moaning coming from this. He goes. <sighs> When he turns his head and God, zombies. You, if I guess you do you slit his throat before he can turn it all the way around? Yes. You slit okay. Yes. After I see him eating from a dead guy's corpse I'm like fuck So do we just do a Coupe de Gras? Um basically yeah, Coupe de Gras are like if I have him in such a situation, you may go that I need to do a kind of damage and see if I get it. Uh okay. Or usually, Coupe de Gras are just killing bros, but it's your decision if um, I can no, just Coupe de Gras him. Yeah, not? this is not your average. Uh, yeah, I know. Cut up head, you, I know. <laughs> yeah, this is oh. not your average humanoid. So, how about you roll the? D I mean, you can auto hit. Yeah, but you have to uh, you have to roll the damage. Okay. Let's see how much. Let's do that. Uh, do and we do I get because I'm like at his throat? Would I get are, a crit? You get back attack. You get. Yes, stuff like that. So no, uh, yeah. my question is, would I get a quit from just like being able to? <laughs> hmm. Like um. Yeah, yeah I, I, I would, I would give you a crit. Okay, so um, um, well, I'm. Do I, uh, I want to match? I'm gonna roll double damage, or should I? Should you roll the forty to check for the? Um... We should. Let's actually link um, because for those not knowing, we are playing a 3.5, but we are using a special kind of um, critical sheet. Posted in the chat right now. Yeah, uh, post post a thing. Yeah, it's in chat. Like that's the critical sheet we're using, just because it has a lot more options and it's a lot more fun. So, do you want to roll 42 check for the zombie or whatever this creature is? Before I do my damage, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Does a zombie is a is a zombie entitled to a forty-two check? Yes, um, zombies do because have. They, they have con zero. Their constitution is zero. That doesn't mean they cannot roll uh, a forty-two. Ah, say bonus star forty-two one. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll do that. We'll we'll totally roll that. Okay, so they have. Okay. Oh. No, 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 no. Fail, fail, fail for the zombie. Good. So, uh, 1d100 first to see the effect. 40, I think, that if I'm not mistaken, that well, is... You're ahead, so you're probably gonna get... 
That is a powerful hit on uh, two times okay. damage. So it's four times damage, basically. Four times damage. So it's uh, what one d eight is my normal. Um, it says there oh, po two two times damage and shield breaks. This yeah. Like two my damage. question is uh, bef that I put you before: uh, is a crit not all double damage, or do we just go through the sheet? That's it. Is the sheet the only critical? Or do you still add double damage uh, for oh, a normal? Oh, do you crit? mean like that? Mm. Yeah, because. Okay. Mm, you no. You it's know what? Cool. You you can probably roll roll your trip your quadruple damage because you are you are at the uh, extreme advantage here. Okay. So yes, roll, um, roll your quadruple damage. Just making sure it's a one d eight. I don't have anything else to add to my f but but my strength. Uh, you have weapon focus. Oh, so it's another one. So it's plus three to damage. Uh, no, it gives you hit. Oh, hit? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, That's not weapon focus. Uh, applicable, I guess. Oh wait, I. Hmm. Give me a sec, because now you're making me doubt myself. Weapon focus. Um, not one hundred percent percent sure. That's why I'm uh, asking you. Give me a sec. No problem. Gives you a. You gain one bonus, not attack rolls. Okay. No attack rolls. So not damage. Okay, good. So yes. it's a forty-eight. Uh, would be three. You know, two, four, eight. Forty-eight plus eight. I wrote twenty-eight damage. Uh. Would you say that is enough? That is, yeah. I mean, that's yeah. enough to slay the zombie. Yeah. <laughs> GG everyone, we won the you won the game. <laughs> <laughs> you are talking to the man who won a one shot on Neil's with a roll with four HP. So but you don't know, understand you know, me. you rolled, you actually rolled very well in your perception. I mean, and you. Yeah, I, I was like, lucky. He, he rolled, he rolled like super shitty on his on his uh, listen, so you know, no worries. Okay, I'm I'm uh, I'm raising the whole bar right now. I'm raising the whole tavern. I'm waking everybody up and raising an alarm, basically. How? I'm screaming. Everybody, wake uh, up! Uh, we have. I I Nick, you you already by this time you're probably. You know, what do you want to do? Cut to you. I just. Uh, Get my gear while uh, uh, mothering pl prayers all the time and going down there as soon as I can. After I'm full geared up with the morning star out, <laughs> whispering prayers to it. Okay. I get, I get dressed. Uh, I take my time. I get dressed. I take my long sword and I get out. Okay, so you take like a couple of minutes. Yeah. You do so. <laughs> right. It takes a, it takes a while to equip your armor. Yep. So you go, so you go, I guess you go down to where you heard uh, Jacob scream or r rally, rallying. Yes, yes. Well, I'm still screaming right yeah. now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just gonna do something. No worries. Don't worry about it. <laughs> so the dragon there that was standing behind uh -huh. the bar. Uh, <laughs> <yeah. Okay. laughs> uh Chucky, uh, you also when you see this zombie, you know, you can see that this zombie, no, oh wait, this the man the zombie shoot on, yeah, he has red hair. It's the he same as the bartender. He has curly red hair. You, did I say the bartender had red hair? No, I'm just like. You said he had curly hair. No, he, he was a burly man. He, he, had, he had a beard. Ah, burly man. Okay. I was just thinking. You were yeah. uh, fucking with my feelings. So you would actually, but you would actually recognize him. Oh wait. Oh wait, no, like you a, wouldn't. Nah, you, no, you said you recognize him. He's the stable boy. A stable man. You left your horses. I uh, whisper a silent prayer that Jonathan T taught me once, maybe. Okay. Whatever I know, and I continue on screaming and raising the whole bar. Okay. Nice. 
Jonathan, let, let, roll me a listen check. Again? No, I mean Jacob, sorry. Oh. Uh, Jacob, what? Sorry? Roll me another listen check. Another listen check. Here it comes, boss. 20 minus 2. 11! Uh, maybe? In the, in the distance, you can hear a quiet gurg you hear like a gurgling sound like <laughs> behind you in the distance yeah. okay I raise the bar well, in the distance I say it sounds like it's coming from behind you what do you want to do uh, after I raise my um, I, I raise the bar and such I I, I, I look at Dana and at Jonathan and I say An abomination just ate the flesh of men. I have no idea what this is uh, also It is now everyone hears the, the winning in sound of horses. Yeah, I say I don't even have to roll for that Yeah, you, you I, hear you, you hear horses winning and like really disturb like really like uh, <laughs> Barricade the They're doors. Fucking, they fucking scared horses are winning right now. Barricade the doors. There might be more coming. Let me get my armor on and equip everybody with the weapons we can find. I go up and grab my bow and I assume there's there is a window up there, right? At the at the first oh, yeah. floor. Nice idea. Nice idea. The window? Yeah, at the window. Uh, there is there a window at the first floor looking towards the horses? Like a hall window the, or the, a... the stable is actually across the street behind the tavern. Right. So where you are standing where you are standing now, if you actually look behind you, is the stable. Right. Question stands, is there is there a window at any place upstairs or downstairs looking at the stables? Mm. Even looking at the street yeah, in yeah, front I mean, of the stables. Yeah, I mean, there's, there are, a, there's, there's, there's a window to the, because you see, if you look, you see there's a window uh, next to the door beneath the stairs, where the man was eaten. The man was, uh, you see, there's a window facing out to you. Is that what you're asking? Yes, I, I guess that. There, there's a window that can, that if you look outside, if you look. Uh, outside of it, you can see the stables. Yes. Yes. I'll look out that window, and and you know. You're not. You're outside. You're outside. I'm you're not. You're not inside. You're outside. Because what you you run. You were not. Well, if I if I was unclear, un, uh, uh, not clear, blah, 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 unclear about this, you went outside, went behind the tavern. Up a couple of stairs, second story. You were actually. Um, oh, should I should I picture it for you? So there's a bar. There's the outside outside stairway. Up outside to a, stairway. Up yeah, to yes. a second. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah. So then there's a balcony, or there's a, like a upstairs, or just the stair that that yeah, one stairway. For the door. Yeah, a platform exactly. Can you see what I'm drawing? Uh, one second. Yes, I can. So where I'm drawing now is here's the front, and basically here's the door. Here's the, here was the man eaten zombie. You are like here, here, or here, something like that. Uh, there's stairs, and and, and it, they're going up, so they're like a second story. If it is if it's confusing to you, I'm sorry, but you know, like. Uh, up there's the like the, there's like stairs going up here, and this, this is a platform. Like this is like yeah, a second floor. Yeah, stairs here, and it's like you can go. It's like a platform, platformish here, and it's like here's a door, here's a door, here's a door, here's a door, here's a door and these doors are on sec on the second uh, store. Get me? Yes. Kinda. Yes, I, I I know what you mean. You're you're down on the streets. You're not you're not inside. You're down on the streets right now. And the stable, no, that's too close. Basically, the stables are kind of like here ish. 
It's closed off right now. Oh, since this is where I was tied, I'm just gonna look towards the. Like, I'll go, go grab my bow, come back, and look at the. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, right. As I said, I'm going from armor. I told everybody that was there to barricade the doors and get whatever weapons they can. Okay. Uh, still hear a lot of. What you do is you still hear, like, like horses being, like, really fucking scared horses. <laughs> really. It, it, the doors are closed, but. Yeah, my. My While concern right now is not the horses. While he's going back to get his armor, I'll be with him to make sure that he manage up the his room. And I'll jokingly say, after he said abomination, uh, if he thinks that the pheasant returned to enact vengeance on us. <laughs> Simon says, pheasant vengeance. <laughs> pheasant vengeance. A okay. giant dragon pheasant hybrid appears. Absolutely. GG. Sounds good. That's uh, just GG. Okay, as you're doing all this, after a little while, if you're not doing anything, if you're just, uh, you know, rallying yourself, putting on your shit. No, I, I want my armor on and such, and after, like... Absolutely. It, it, takes a couple, it takes a couple of minutes to put on armor, Chucky. Okay, yeah, yeah. It, it takes a while. Uh, the winning stops. You don't hear any, you don't hear any horses anymore. It's silent again. Okay. Give me your actions. Um, are we all in the... Are there any other people with us there? Yes. Are there any there other are, people with us there? I have... Let's see here. Hmm? As the horses have been, you know, as the horses were winning in, where you, where you were up collecting your shit, the, the bartender has run out to... I mean, he's, he's come this way. He's run out. He's a big fucking man, so you get a big circle. Uh, Are there any yes. people around no. us? No, no, no. It's just a bartender. And uh, for the, for now, it's just a bartender running out. Stop him, Jonathan! <laughs> oh, he's running towards you guys, basically. Oh, he's running he's towards, towards us. us. Okay, I, mean, yeah, uh, I run you're... towards him when I if I have my armor on him in there. Hmm. You know, did anyone, did everyone go to get their armor? I had my stuff from before. I went to go my bow, so it's... Okay, you want to go... So Jonathan can actually see him running out. Otherwise, your others are still busy trying right. to assemble your shit. Alright, I'm, I'm like asking him... Uh, what do you think you're doing here? What happened? What? 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 I heard... I, the horses! I heard... I heard screaming horses. I'm like... <gasps> and he turns and he sees... Uh, he sees the corpse. He sees, the, he sees the corpse and the Gnada face, and he sees uh, another. He, knows, he doesn't really see the other thing. Uh, it depends. How how did you? What did you do when you disposed of the song of the creature? I did not do anything specific. Like, I just okay. So he, he plops. He plopped down beside him. No, it's not plopped. It's like it's obviously that I. It's like half of the neck is thrashed off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You 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 basically de decapitated the zombie. Basically, yes. Yes, well, I shouldn't say zombie though, but okay, you you know it's an abomination, but you, you players can act up. Yeah, this is the same thing I did in the first week of I Have the Storm. Like, I, I didn't want to say zombie, <laughs> so I yeah, yeah. said all the words possible, but the only... Yeah, but, only... You, but whatever, you, it's an, you, 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 see, you clearly have seen that this is not a human. It's, yeah, it's a monster. It's a monster. So, uh, the innkeeper... Uh, is, is shocked. He sees the corpse of uh, the stable man, and it's like he can't—he like can't believe what he sees, and he just, you know, he I loses his lunch. He vomits his ass off. I mean, he loses his dinner. All right, I uh, see him a lot. After I see him vomit, I'll tell him like, snap off. This is not the moment to uh, war. Like, this is not the moment. To... <laughs> I'm like, imagine that, imagine that while he vomits down on uh, the yeah, floor, yeah. I'm like preaching above him. Don't be a coward. This is your chance to fight uh, for the gods we believe in. And says, what? you have to help us cleanse these abominations. Like, preaching like, while he vomits. I was like, 
what are you talking about, man? He starts tearing up. That's... Oh my god, Frank! Yes, I... He just kneels down, like, vomit all over his, you know, nightgown or something, and like... Like, kneel... Frank, and he's like, cup, he like, cups. Oh god. The, he, because he, he, he recognizes the, the, the red curly hair, of course. I mean, the... the uh, so he's like, oh my god. What? I'm like uh, not letting him through. I'm dragging him up, and I'm uh, like uh, you're dragging him. Authority voice. I'm dragging him up. Uh, I'm okay. I can't you can basically touch him. And just, uh, I guess you make a strength check to drag him up. All right. It's on yeah. his character sheet. Like he he doesn't really need to make a strength check if it, if the character doesn't weigh more than he can basically lift off ground. Okay. Let's see here. Like if he you can lift off any... ground. Lift off ground, yeah, 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 absolutely. He's he's also willing. I mean, he's, he's not well, he's not willing, I guess, but he's uh, Res he's not can, resisting. You can you can drag, yeah. Lift off ground, gonna be the absolute. You can drag him up, no problem. Yes, and I'm preaching at him at how every human person should be brave to fight for the light and how every soul is needed oh. for a holy purpose, so he oh. can stop bitching and become our cannon fodder. But I don't tell him that. <laughs> So okay, you have to make a roll for that, I think, because he's. Right, it's diplomacy, it should be, or something. Yeah, it should be some kind of diplomacy roll. It's just a d20 for me, it's charisma. <laughs> he. No way. I mean, he doesn't take. He doesn't take very kindly to what you say, and like, he's over himself with grief, because, you know, you've never seen. You've probably never seen a man this sad of a death, or maybe you have, but. It's very clear that this man is just inconsolable right now. He doesn't hear, hear a word you say. Right. Uh, well, since I'm a cleric, I have to be annoying him. Annoying. I just I'll keep telling the same things over and yeah, over. Yeah, it's not gonna change though because he's uh, probably not gonna change at all. I mean, I know, gonna... I know. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. I'm just uh, being annoying, saying these yeah, things louder and louder. Guys, Aina and uh, Jacob, you are finished now. You are. You can. You have finished putting on your armor, no problem. I walk down. And you see me trying to preach, uh, crying. Bitch. Yeah, you, you see Jonathan preaching. Absolutely. I walk I... out and as I go. see them, I go, get the man inside. Wait, let's let's uh, get everyone to safety and let's take care of this. I'm like, uh, he's like, a yeah. servant of the. What, what of happened? Life and light. Would he I know that? Fight. Would I know that those are undead? Would I have any idea? Like, it, it started eating fresh, and. Uh, it took like a long time. I have so. never seen an undead before. This is your first time encountering the undead. Yeah, but like what I'm asking is, um, would I have any idea that it is an undead even if I haven't seen like I I don't, haven't seen. I mean, dragon, I'm pretty I smart, for example. I could I like roll to yeah, see. Yeah, I mean, uh, both Jonathan and Aina could probably make some kind of roll to to discern what this is. Yes. Could I try Here's intelligence the... check even if it's minus one? Well, we have a minus one. Have, in, you, asked, I don't think have you ever asked? No, I don't. Not without consulting your party okay. members. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, sorry. Then, then. I don't I don't shouldn't I know how undead are because I'm a cleric? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could, but you, you know, you have you've been in the army for the most of the. You've been a battle cleric. All right. You could have you could have read out. You could, have, yes, you could have read up on uh, undead while you were a ultra boy. I guess you could say a little ultra boy. Right. And so can you roll like a wisdom to figure out that this is undead? You can roll religion, I believe. Religion is uh, intelligence or wisdom? Intelligence. It's it's on your. Uh, I know, I know. It's, it's intelligence. All right. It is intelligence. I think you have religion though, like a plus yes, one. I, yes, I have. Yeah. Uh, religion, religion. Okay. Mm. You would know some basic things about them. Yeah, yeah. I don't give uh, based on this. I just want to preach the hell out of this. Why That's why, I, um, the, why I'm doing this is basically clerics have the powers to. You have rebuke undead. Basically. Yeah, that's that's yes. right. Of course. Yeah. That's like he that would should, know this. That, that should be. That's I. I didn't say anything yeah. until he knew that. No, you're 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 right. But you, 
He still only knows the basic no, things no, about No, 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 okay, he knows what yeah. they're undead, but he, he has knows, that no, power. No, he knows, he can, he has been... He has done some training, I mean, he, he, he's gonna have some training in, in turning undead, yes. Yeah, it's so gonna basically, be killing undead for you, Jonathan, are, is... Like, you, you, you're, you're specialized in this, like, you have powers specially designed to it. do this. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, that's... we've been going on for an hour and twenty. Would you guys yeah. want to take a five ten minute break here, and then we can go on? Sure. sure. Okay, we'll take a five ten minute break here, and then uh, we'll go on after with the second part of uh, the survival show. Coming right back up. When do we die? You're already dead. See, maybe already dead. This might not be a dream. I'm. I think I. Actually